Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. We are going to present to you, a trendy, neon intro logo animation. Let's do this. First of all, you need these footage files. Please, download these files, link in the description. Now create a new com, and rename it, your logo. Ensure that you select the 1080p resolution, and set the duration to, 8 seconds. Then, click OK. Drag and drop, your logo into the timeline. Press S to adjust the scale. Create a new composition, and rename it Saber. Then, click OK. Drag and drop, your logo composition layer into the timeline. Go to Layer, and click on Auto Trace. Then click OK. Click on the composition layer, go to Effect, and apply the Saber plugin. Change the preset to Portal. Click on Customize Core and switch the core type to Layer Mask. Adjust the intensity to 70, Glow Bias to 0.3, and Core Size to 1.2. If desired, modify the color. Next, move the indicator to 0 seconds and click on the Mask Evolution and Start Size watch icons. Set Mask Evolution and Start Size to 0. Finally, Click on the Start Offset Watch icon, and set the value to, 100. Now, drag the indicator to, 1 second, and change the Start Size value to 200. Next, click on the, End Offset, Watch icon. After that, drag the indicator to, 2 seconds, and set the End Offset value to 0. Once again, drag the indicator to, five and a half seconds adjust the mask evolution value to minus four and the start offset to zero then navigate to render settings and change the alpha mode to mask core this video is sponsored by Fiverr if you are interested in having create a logo animation please check out the link in the description you can view our portfolio on the profile page, and contact us, if you like the work. Now duplicate the Saber Comp layer. Press Ctrl plus D. And change the mode to, Screen. Adjust the Glow Intensity to, 175. You can also change the color if desired. And set the Core Size to 0.3. Next, click on the layer, and press U. Drag the indicator to 5 seconds. Now, dragging these points and modify the mask evolution value to minus 3. Go to the project window and create a new composition. Rename it Floor and click OK. Drag and drop the floor texture comb into the timeline. Then, click on the 3D box. Change, the orientation value to, 270. And the position X value to, 800. Go to effects and presets. And apply the motion tile effect. Change the output width to, 200. High to 800. And also enable mirror edges. Now, create a new composition, and name it Main. Click OK. First, create a new, black solid layer. Then, drag and drop the Saber Comp layer, into the timeline. Change the mode to Add. And enable the 3D box. Go to Effects and Presets, and apply the Glow effect, on the layer. 
set the glow radius to 400 and the intensity to 1.5 now duplicate the saber layer by pressing ctrl plus d and rename it to reflection press s and click on the unlink option change the y value to minus 100 and drag it downwards like mine next navigate to the project window and drag the floor layer into the timeline position it between the saber and reflection layers then turn off the eye icon create a new adjustment layer and apply the compound blur effect change the blur layer to floor with a maximum blur value of 150 now apply the curves effect and create a graph similar to mine then apply the solid composite and change the color to black next duplicate the saber layer and remove the glow effect select the layer press s and click on the unlink option then change the y value to minus 5 and drag it down like me finally apply the fast box blur with a blur radius of 100 now duplicate the saber comp layer by pressing ctrl plus d select the layer press s and change the y value to minus 3 go to the project window and drag and drop your logo comp layer into the timeline click on the 3d box and press d to open opacity now drag the indicator to 4 seconds and set the value to 0 also click on the watch icon drag the indicator to 5 seconds and change the value to 100 go to the project window and drag the dust beams footage below the adjustment layer change the mode to screen click on the 3d box go to effects and presets apply the tin effect and modify the color if desired next create the camera layer and add a new null layer enable the 3d box option press p to open the position settings move the indicator to five and a half seconds click on the watch icon drag the indicator to zero seconds and change the z value to 250 now connect all 3d layers to the null layer go to the project window and create the final composition rename it to render click ok drag and drop the main comp player into the timeline now create a new adjustment layer and rename it light go to effects and presets then apply the gradient ramp effect and change the mode to add now click on swap colors to change the starting color if desired set the ramp scatter value to 100 next create a new adjustment layer and rename it as FX after that go to effects and presets apply the unsharp mask with the following settings amount 25 radius 75 and threshold 400 finally add the curves effect and adjust the graph to match mine final step type your text press P and adjust its position you can also change the color if desired then apply the animated in text effect and follow my steps
Now, simply drag and drop the sound effect. Let's go and check out our project. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.